Hey guys, it's Kyle from Mad Hot Media. Today we are here at BCB Gym with Boise Todman, one of the founders of Zero Tolerance. And there's some league games going on and we're taking this opportunity to speak with him a little bit with what Zero Tolerance does for the community and youth athletics. So first, uh, can you tell us a little bit about how Zero Tolerance was formed? It was formed from in 1996 by Santa Pet former Santa Petros and myself. Just to give the kids a summer basketball league to take part in. And we have expanded since then. Uh, what was the main purpose of starting the Zero Tolerance Basketball League? Okay, usually we grew up playing in park and rec summer leagues. And uh, there was no summer leagues for a while or a couple of years. And he saw that this is something we could go give back to the kids. And something that we could come up doing. So we put it together and make it happen. What are some names in Virgin Islands basketball that have come through the Zero Tolerance Basketball League? Oh, we have had some players gone to college, finish. Mainly, number one is Ajayi Gregory. He's here in the Virgin Islands, working as an engineer in Port Authority. We have Xavier um, Richards. We have some females players also with Zero Tolerance, but we mainly stick with the boys. because That's why I mainly play in this program right now, boys. But it's for boys and girls. Uh, what are some current goals of Zero Tolerance um, in this era right now? Hey, my biggest goal is to see we having our own gymnasium, which is needed. Again, it's difficult getting a gym to play in. That's the biggest thing. There's so much use for the little gyms that we have available that we need our own gym. That's my goal. And what type of things do you think uh, would, help, would help you accomplish these goals? Hey, I have a site of the land that I think we could do this we could build a gym there it's getting the gym getting the land and being able to get investors to help us build this gym sounds like a solid plan anything else you'd like to add about the league hey this is our drug free league that's what we call this one right before the christmas time as you see the color is red and white and again we try to get the parents to come out and support the kids in what we do right now okay at this age group which is 9 to 12 this is, should be our focus. The older ones, we still deal with them, but we want to grab them from this young to mold them to what we want them to be, that we could start going back into the neighborhoods and playing basketball games. You recently received a award from the Nigel O'Hodge Foundation. What does it mean to be recognized for your efforts in the community? Hey, anybody that know me, no, I don't do it for the awards or the recognition. I do it because this is what I love to do. But it was, uh, I appreciate them rewarding me with this, and it was a great event that night with two other guys, which was Derek Heiliger Sr. and Al Al Alston Cricky. Again, it was a great, great event that night. Never knew it was going to be that good. We enjoy ourselves being there, myself and my group that take part with it, which is my Zero Tyrants family and friends. We appreciate them. We let them know. And again, it's not about me and this award, because Zero Tyrants is not Boise. It's Boise and the assistant that I get from our officers and our board chair, our board members, coaches, the players, and parents. So it's not about me. Thank you for your time today. And guys, make sure to stick and stay with Mad Hot Media for the latest and greatest in Virgin Islands sports.